It's a very uplifting thing to be out in nature. So people can come here, take photographs, draw, write poems, sit on the beach, look at birds, look at the sky. The sky is wonderful here. There's birds in the summer, you've got the migrating birds come across. It's a good community, it's dog friendly. I mean, just everything about the place is like heaven for me, personally. <laughs> What amazes me is when we created the intertidal habitats on the farm, we had to move 60, 70,000 cubic metres of soil from one end of the farm to the other end of the farm. It was a huge civil engineering activity, and yet it's created something that looks so natural. It's unbelievable. I've loved the opportunity and the privilege of changing the landscape here, turning it into a, a wetter wetland, and seeing how some of the very rare species of 20 years ago are now very much more common. I think for me it's the bird life. It's some of the richest bird life in the country. If you want an experience in the countryside with spectacular views, views of the sea, the open landscape, at all times of the year there's something different to see. I get up and I think, oh, what shall I do today? I think I'll go to Rye and within just coming through the gate, you feel vibrant with everything around you and there's nothing better. In this area, we don't have that many places left that are wild. Indeed, this isn't the north of Scotland, um, this is southeast England. You, know, you go west from here, you pretty yep. soon come to Hastings and then it's all yeah. built up. You know, it's a unique place. Rye Harbour is very special because of the different habitats that are here, the great range of species and the very many rare and endangered species. Um, but it's also special with the community of people that support the place and help in a practical way and help financially and it's, it's, it's unique. 12, 13 years ago I came here and I immediately thought it was the most beautiful place I had ever seen. I connected with it so strongly emotionally myself and to now be in a position where I can help other people discover this place is just fabulous. I feel very calm. When I sit near water, I find that has a really calming effect anyway. So to sit in a bird hide, to have wildlife there just in front of you, and now to sit in a cafe and just, you know, have a cup of tea and watch a spoonbill right outside the window, and in the summer, avocets feeding in the pools. It's really, really exciting to be able to bring that closer to people now.